you guys come to the YMCA a lot? Oh, God, yes. We do? Where else can men discuss serious issues without pants? We hate to intrude. You have entered a male sanctuary, a sacred bastion of... Hi, guys. Uh, what's up? Burton, if I may, your gentles are just below your towel. Tanya has been attacked. Tanya has been attacked. <gasps> By who? By some dude with a paddle. What kind? Ping pong. In table tennis, it's not a paddle. It's called a bat. John's had to explain this several times before. It's a bat. Or a paddle. Is she hurt? She was paddled a little on her backside. Oh, my. A gold paddle with a cobra on it. Burton, we know that racket. And its evil owner. Ron Lipsky. It was the summer of fourth grade. John and I were at camp. I can still see it like it was yesterday. What was that? Somebody cracked the window with scotch. I had the cold asparagus salad again. John was the best ping pong player at camp until Ron Lipsky. Ron was older and he had hair everywhere, if you know what I mean. So relatable. He taunted John with names I won't repeat. Blake, crybaby. <gasps> On the night of the camp tournament, Ron was in the finals. John was winning until Ron said John only had hair on his arms. <gasps> John ran off into the woods crying, forfeiting the tournament. To this very day, John has been unable to pick up a ping pong paddle. Wow. But you did cry. Oh, he cried. But that's not the point. You can now teach Ron a lesson. And avenge poor Tanya. I don't want to play anymore. You heard the man. I'm, I'm, I'm washed up. I'm done. You were great once. Let's get some coffee into this man. If you could just top it off a little bit. I don't need a new cup. You're going out there again. Right after we sober you up, buddy. I'm not drunk, but what you're describing is a recipe for disaster, which is a great name for a cooking show. You still got the stuff, John. I might have the stuff, but I don't have the right stuff, which... By the way, it was a wonderful Tom Hanks vehicle. Tom Hanks wasn't in the rights. A wonderful Dennis Quaid vehicle. Ow! Look at you. A defeated, used-up carcass of a man. Pull yourself together. Maybe he's just chicken. Sorry, uh, I thought we were all doing a bit. We're very serious. You could take this guy. Maybe I do need to give it one more shot. Tanya's at Ron's racket room. The Stockholm Syndrome. John, I am proud to carry your racket for you. Just stay close, please. Give him air. He needs to concentrate. Why would air help me concentrate? This is good. And for you, little lady, I have a surprise tonight. Mm, I like surprises. I hope it's not too rich for your blood. Oh, nothing's too rich for... They're here. Who's here? Lipsky, you stay away from that girl. I'll be damned. John Gold. You will be damned. Hey, can I get you a crybaby tissue? No, thank you. I'm good. Lipsky, you see this racket? Katie, give me the racket, please. This is the racket that's going to send you back to the Stone Age. But before I say anything else, how's the family? John Gold is here to avenge your attack on this poor woman and to reclaim his rightful championship. <laughs> I don't see any of that happening. A hundred dollars says John wins. Katie! You're on, baby. Don't call me... Oh. I feel funny all over in my body. <laughs> You are the biggest hero I've ever known. I'm not a hero. I'm just a guy who... Did you say all over your body? So now you know. My mom is dying. I spent every last penny on a treatment. I can't even pay for a funeral. You didn't look so sad when Tanya was sitting at the bar. You noticed my phony, brave face. You were always such a smart kid. I was probably strongest in creative writing. Well, I sure don't know what's going to happen to me now. Okay, Ron, how much do you need? I'm not, I'm not a monster. I don't want to take your money. Although, I guess that 200 bucks wouldn't hurt any. This boat is yours? I love surprises with anchors. It's not a boat, it's a yacht. Hey, kitten, I got a question for you. How can you live on a bus? 
with some idiot like John. I don't live with him. We. <laughs> you should have seen his crybaby face when I walked away with the 200 bucks. Liar. John walked away with that $200, not you. He gave it to me. I told him my mom was dying and I needed the money, blah, blah. What a loser. Yeah, he might be a loser, but... <laughs> <laughs> Here and ask. And were you scared when Ron went up 18 to 15? I was toying with him. I... Hey, Ron said he wanted to cover your bet. And his sick mom made a complete recovery. I'm not going to take that money. I want to set up a fund for his mom. What kind of fund? You know, maybe a matching fund. She's fully recovered. These things come back. We don't know if she's out of the woods. What things can come back? I'm a doctor, Leo. I'm not a magician. Doctor? Of course I'm not a doctor. But... Look, I don't have a crystal ball. What have we been talking about? Yoga is an ancient and scientifically proven way to prevent or cure every disease known to man. Are you, are you sure? Is this right? Oh, dear God, yes. <laughs> <laughs>